Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Brenda and if you've seen me for the first time, it means you're new to this channel. Please don't be afraid of clicking that red button so that you can subscribe to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, Karibu Sana, we missed you. And if you're not really new to this channel but you've not subscribed, we need that sub from you, yeah? And you all can give me those thumbs up at the end of this video. So guys, I'm very sure you've come across many many opinions of, of people trying to dissect the female gender some have ended up concluding that women love money are complicated and are very difficult people to understand so today we are going to talk about six things that women really want from men so let's get to it first and foremost everyone loves security everyone wants to feel their safe in the presence of somebody and if you come from an african setup like me you'll automatically think of somebody that has strong muscles big body uh, and a person that can offer you the physical security but for for women it's it's more than that yeah like for me women want emotional security and what do i mean by emotional security as a woman i want to feel that uh, I'm sure of where I stand like you and I stand in terms of our emotions I, I want you to assure me that you have plans for me in your like in your future you, you uh, I'm also included in your plans for your future and as a man it's your responsibility to state clearly what plans you have for me I want to know that that you will not bring your toxic energy in from your past relationships to me yeah if the other person hurt you doesn't necessarily mean that the next woman will do the same to you so as a man it's your responsibility to make sure that i'm emotionally secure with you state what you are what plans you have for me and make sure that i'm, I'm in a position to understand that i can count you count on you for my emotional support secondly communicate as as women we appreciate good communications with our with our partners and you see, not just any kind of communication, it should be quality. By quality, I mean that it's a communication that has been done properly and through the right channels. There, there are people who like communicating using text messages or using notes. Like somebody, instead of telling you what exactly what they feel, they just they will just hold on to what they are thinking, then wait for you to get out of, of their present day, they will start using their their phones to tell you what they are feeling that's not okay so like a woman i'll appreciate that you communicate yeah and you know if communication is the main thing that breaks many relationships and you know lack of communication leads to confusion and confusion leads to misunderstandings and misunderstanding leads to no future also seek clarification for what you don't understand yes that, that will just make your life to be so easy if anything is not clear it's just easy and logical to seek clarification. Don't be the kind of person that you'll yeah, like some, something now happens, like today, you'll spend the whole day thinking about it in different dimensions, trying to understand why the person did that. So if something is not so clear, seek clarification. Stop making coming up with assumptions, then trying to make them to try to turn them into facts that are not really fact facts. If something is not clear ask you did this and this what exactly what intention did you have exactly yeah it's just easier and simple you just free much of your time instead of sitting there thinking overthinking wondering and trying to analyze it uh, try to analyze scenarios that are not even existent so we appreciate good communication be a good communicator and if you if you've spoken to the woman and the woman is also not a good communicator then it means that there's no future there if you, are, you cannot communicate and the woman cannot communicate then what are you doing okay i'm not saying that you break up no i'm just saying trying to say that if both of you cannot communicate then what are what i what are you trying to do it means you're only trying to create confusions you guys that's my op opinion i don't know what you think so let me let me know on the comment section but that is my opinion yes i appreciate if a man makes us feel com comfortable when it comes to talking to them make me feel comfortable that i can talk to you about 
anything if anything starts bothering me i know that that this is the person that i'll run to to talk and also uh, uh, we appreciate when the man says a good environment for me to communicate or for me to talk about anything you should not be the kind of man that if i talk to you somebody about something today that you as in and tomorrow we disagree you start using the same thing against me no that is not good so we just appreciate good communication and thirdly women appreciate visionary men who with leadership skills and for this i'll i'll go to the bible you see when god intended that man should the man should be the head of the family and as the head of the family you are the leader so it's your responsibility to ensure that you are offering leadership skills you have a vision for the future not only for you but also for the woman that you are with and if you have a family you also have plans for the family also you should be the kind of person that attacks even if anything small happens to the woman she'll know that you are the person the right person for her to turn to attack don't like you mama she knows that i'll call i'll call my man and tell him that this and this has happened like you should be the first person that the woman turns to i love when she turns to when she turns to you be the offer a listening ear you square like you're just right there ready to offer excuses you know trust me if you do that once or twice the woman won't come to you even if anything happens to you because she already knows that she, there's nothing that you can do about it and if you have visions and plans for what you you, are, you want to achieve or what you want to do for you and for your family start working on them who's the kind of man that you're just lying as in sitting on the couch every day watching the tv and you're talking about what plans you have for the future but you're not working on them as in how, how will they get actualized if you're not trying to work on them chat men who are who as in they go out of their way to make things happen lead by an example like you, sh- you should not be the one telling me that i want you to do this and this and make get money for us but you're not doing that as well if i'm making a hundred bob I, at least i want you to be making 200 bob in a day in so doing i'll start looking up to you because i know he is doing something yeah i'm not the only one of our working here yeah so we appreciate men who are visionary and they offer leadership skills to us just as the bible intended yeah women want intimacy you want to be touched when you can hug me when you can pick me as in give me attention even if i walk into the room and you are on call with a friend tell a friend you know what my wife is here my girl is here my woman is here i need to give her her, her attention like just go out of your way to make the woman as make us feel special yeah you see what, what, what once you do that it me like it affects us emotionally i don't know i i had i once had somebody say that women love with their heart or i don't know like women when they in love they're affected emotionally but for men they kind of have to overthink as in they use their brain something like that i'm not very sure but i i had something like that so for for women once you co- you constantly feed their emotions they feel special and more connected to you so if you can you as a man if you can go out of your way to feed our emotions hug us pick us as in give us attention it will make us feel so nice like we appreciate the small things yeah just and those small things are the one that may, can make your relationship to last just don't just be nice to me when you want something from me don't just be nice to me because you want me in bed or don't just be nice to me as in hadi in a thicker point like when you start all, all of a sudden you start being nice maybe your intentions may be right may be right you, you, are, you are being nice to me because you love me but because it's not a norm yeah sika waida yako as once you start being nice in takwazile like mm, what does this guy want is it fika yako just make it as a norm for you as a man to make me feel good yeah also want to feel appreciated and i'll go straight back to my african roots african men 
why is it so hard for you guys to say thank you you know thank you is a magical it's part of it's one of the magical words like a, a simple thank you can just work miracles on people yeah why is it so hard for a uh, man to say thank you like you guys kindly help me understand on the comment section like just for it's rare to get a man who can say thank you for small things or for anything appreciate the the woman we want to feel appreciated for what we are doing if i'm cooking for you if i'm cleaning the house if i'm making sure that everything in the house is in order why can't you appreciate me like by i think you you can just say thank you it doesn't have to be in a big way but if you you are the kind of man that can go out of your way to do bigger things and greater things like taking the woman out do it as a way of appreciate of appreciating her but if you're not in a position to do that why just do, why don't you just do the small things you can say like mm, you cooked let me just ar- arrange the table for for us to eat that is, that that's that's okay if you do that it means I, i'll feel appreciated like i'll feel you are you are, like you understand you understand what a, what it feels like being a woman and the the task that the the responsibility that the woman has been given yeah so if you if you can help help i'll appreciate and i feel good and lastly women want a trustworthy a trustworthy man yeah women want a trustworthy man like i want to know if you are the man i have in my life i want to know when your no is a no so that i can be able to trust your your yes i want to know that you can be in a position to write to tell me no when something is not in order not just tell me no because you don't want to hurt me you just want to say yes to everything i say because you don't want me to feel bad or it, it, by the way that if you do that it means that you're just a manipulator so your no should be clear so that even if i do something and you say uh, yes i know that this is the kind i know i already know your character so if you tell me a uh, yes i know that is indeed a yes and if you tell me a uh, no i know that that is a no from you and once you get to such a uh, such a position or that uh, such a point where i can trust you with your words i'll be sure that i can also trust you with my emotions if a woman can trust you with her emotions she will she will not go into that relationship 100%. That's why you'll realize at some point you may start feeling that that like the woman has built some walls that you cannot really go past. So it's up to you for the woman for the man to make sure that you do the, the, the you do the things that I've talked about so that you can have a, a good relationship. So that was it for today. I'll be doing a video on what men really want. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try. I'm not very sure but for the points that I know from my experience, I'll try to give you the tips that I have here. Yeah? Uh and guys, 